Hello everyone, welcome to Sex, the Story Behind the Pleasure. Thank you for joining us, Jesse, Jessica Dance for God. Hello. Everyone can type their name in. Just type their name in in the screen form if you would. Go ahead and share um, this broadcast with your followers. Well, hi, my name is Shamel Jackson, and I am the owner and founder of Breaking It Down with C. Jackson, where I help teens make an informed decision about sex through the stories of others. So, uh, welcome to our weekly broadcast. Welcome to our weekly broadcast. Um, to share this uh, broadcast, please, if you have an iPhone, swipe right, and you have a Android, swipe to swipe uh, up and share this with your followers. We're going to um, continue on from our last scope. So if you missed that, please catch the replay. But um, like I said, first, share this with your followers. You can follow me on, uh, also, you can follow me on Facebook, uh, Instagram, and YouTube. So make sure you follow and Breaking It Down with C. Jackson on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. So on the last scope, and just, remember, oh, thank you for the hearts, guys. Show hearts. If you like anything I, um say on this periscope please tap that screen show me how let me know that that's um something you guys think that's good or not or not good but i don't get any hearts um but i need to um, keep talking about um what i'm talking about at that moment so um just a quick review but like i said if you missed the last scope please watch the replay um today um last scope we talked about different meanings Behind, uh, of sex, uh, sexual intercourse, the purpose of it, or some of the purpose of it, and um, that it's pleasurable, is used to create children, and, I'm oh, sorry, okay. So, used to create children, and that is pleasurable, that, that you're supposed to enjoy um, sex. So, obviously, I think everyone in the world know that, uh, unless it wouldn't be such a hot topic so of course that my motto is sex the story behind the pleasure so automatically you know that it is pleasurable and song of solomon talks about uh sex a lot and it you can go back and talks about the woman's breast being satisfying and kisses and things going on at night time that she waits for her lover in the bed i mean so from that alone you know that sex is pleasurable so we're gonna get into a little bit more about uh, another new topic on why, what's the purpose of sex? What is the purpose of sex? Um, for one, okay, also it expresses intimacy. And intimacy is when you become close with someone, you become more personal, personal with them. That's all what intimacy is. You're giving, when you become you know, into someone, you're gonna have, um, one of the reason, ways you do that is you have sex with them. So that's something so um, important. I need you to know that intimacy is so um, key to that sex. So sex, the uh, reason why people have sex is to express intimacy. If y'all can type that in the screen for me, express intimacy. Sex is used to express intimacy. Sex is used to express intimacy. At least that's uh, one of the reasons that it is used. Sex is used to create, um, express intimacy. All right. Um, another thing I was thinking um, a long time ago. I was thinking, I've been to thousands of weddings. Thank you. Sex is used to create. I've been to thousands of weddings, and I could never figure out why um, the man goes up underneath the woman's dress to get the, she she wears a garden it's like a little th a thing under her wedding gown it's called a garden and the man pulls it up takes it off and throws it to all the single men that are at the wedding reception and whoever catch it obviously they think that's the person that's going to get married next so i'm like what's the purpose of that so i i looked it up not a long time ago and i said one of the things they were saying about um the garden was that it was used to consummate the marriage and consummate means to make complete, to make whole, so to make perfect. So you have a ceremony, you make your vow in front of people, in front of God, that this is who you want to be, spend your rest of your life with. This, this is going to be your husband, this is going to be your wife. But after you do that, then you go that night or that night or that day and consummate the marriage, make it, make it complete 
by having sex with that person. So obviously at the reception, the, um, the intercourse hasn't, well, if you waited till you're married, it hasn't happened. It's not going to happen until after the wedding reception, if you have or after the wedding. But it was just a symbol. They said, I read that it was a symbol to say this wedding has been consummated. The two, um, the two have engaged in or and be involved in sexual activity. So, so then you have, um, and oneness, oneness, oneness. We're going to get into oneness. So we get married. You have two people that come together, two souls, two lives. It, each of you are different, but you all come together and say, I just love this person to life. I just can't live without this person. So I want to marry them. So now you have your own set of ways and he has his own set of well they have their own set of ways and you two come together um right back in the beginning of genesis the bible talks about how the man leaves his parents and is joined to his wife and the two become one flesh one flesh that's very key one flesh if, uh please remember genesis 2 24 one flesh it's all about the man and woman becoming one flesh that's going to be very important to remember in future scope future scopes and so now you guys are one person. So there's oneness there. There's intimacy. You know, there's oneness. You guys have made the marriage complete by having sexual intercourse. So also, um, when Mary, she was obviously Mary didn't have sex with Joseph until she um, got married to him, but she was pregnant with Jesus. Um, so um, so she, but she hadn't had sex, but she was pregnant with Jesus. But it talks about in Matthew, first chapter in Matthew that. Mary and Joseph had got married. He took Mary as his wife, and he didn't consummate the marriage until after Jesus was born. So that lets you know that's two different things. That makes it com consummate, to make complete, to make whole. So that that whole piece is very important because now you two have become one flesh. Very important, one flesh, one flesh, one flesh, one flesh. So I just think. That whole one thing, now I'm, one, I'm not only one by myself, now I'm joined to this other person that I, forever how many times I've known them, now I'm I'm joined to them. So if you join with someone, like they're, they are part of you. They are now a part of you. They're my, my part. So we talked about how in Songs of Solomon, the breasts were satisfying to the husband. Um, there are kisses going on, so it's pleasurable. It's a way, sex is a way to express intimacy, and you must, which when you come close with that person, you come more personal with them. So um, that's why I say you should make an informed decision about sex. But sex is so personal, and and like I said in the last scope, if you don't know the meaning of something, you might abuse it. If you don't know that sex is so personal, and you're becoming one with somebody, you of course you're gonna uh, use it any way you want to use it. But it's important to know that. What is sex and why it is used? So it's new for a number of reasons, like I said. And then the two become one flesh. There are no longer two people. Now you are one with that person. Even if you, let's say you did not marry that person, you still became one with them. Like it doesn't mean just because you didn't have a ceremony to uh, be married to that person, but you have now become one with that person because now you your soul has been attached to that other soul so um when i got that when somebody told me i mean it took a while before i really understood about what do you mean one flesh i don't i'm me and i'm me he's him and why you know why what is that all uh, why is that so important so um that gets into soul ties in which we will um it's soul ties but you got two souls and you're tied because now you're one so now you are tied to that person tied to that person now because you have sexual intercourse with them but um i'm gonna stop right here anybody have any questions for me as far as what breaking it down with c jackson if you're new to this scope uh thank you for um coming in tuning in taking time out your busy schedule to do that i really enjoy i uh, appreciate that the last scope the last time i checked the last scope i posted on youtube and actually almost 250 people have viewed that viewed that video so i uploaded the last pair of scope, all, of, all of them to youtube but the the uh, last one got almost 250 
views. I don't know if there's been any more since then, but it was about an hour ago I checked it. So that's really great. So please go uh, check it out. It was a really good scope. Thank you, Jesse. Just dance for God. Let me teach you. <laughs> so, all right. Anybody have any questions for me? Especially if you're just um, tuning in for the first time. Like I said, thank you. Type in the screen. Anything questions you have about anything I just I said. All right, so we're gonna uh, wrap up. So I just want you to remember that sex is pleasurable for one. It's used to express intimacy. One of the things used to express intimacy and is where two souls become one. Like I said, the garden is used to consummate the marriage. You used to let me go, okay, now this person is now one, they're one flesh, but they have engaged in intercourse age and intercourse all right guys it's been great um talking to you guys i hope you share this broadcast with people any anybody you know a teen adult share this broadcast um looking forward to next week's scope and you can like i said you can follow me on facebook youtube and instagram breaking it down with c jackson I'm trying to get into this Snapchat, y'all. So I'm still working on it. Uh, once I get it and I get it down pat, I will be doing things on Snapchat as far as with um, breaking it down with C. Jackson. So remember, sex, the story behind the pleasure. This is a weekly broadcast every Monday, 7 o'clock Central Time Central Time Zone. We, I will be here. If Sometimes I might bring a guest. You just never know. You just have to tune in. So... I hope you have, guys have a great night. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the night after I watch this broadcast, uh, watch the replay of it and see how great it was. It is. <laughs> Thank you, LT Wingate 80, for joining in. If you just came in, came in the middle, please watch the replay and share with your followers. Um, so you guys have a great night, and I will see you guys. Well, you see me. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye.